Five. Okay. Here we go. Hello, YouTube world. Hello. Well, we hear it. I don't know what time it is. What time is it, Brian? Is that Adam? Is that Adam? anything with you? Adam. We got... Adam and cousin Brian. We got 1128 <laughs> and the Brian <laughs> Adam show <laughs> coming on. on YouTube. <clears throat> Silence, silence, fellas. Let's see what we can get in coming on on the Brian Adam show tonight. We have Adam Kravoyserad and his cousin Brian Kravoyserad. It's just posted. These two gentlemen are out in the wilderness, and they are watching a movie together. You got low on the Slash counselor and psychiatrist. Let's see if we can get anybody to come in. Well, on the Brian Adams show. I can't. I can't see nothing. I don't know. I don't have. Anything. I don't see nobody. Um. I don't. Yeah. I who's don't that? Have, I don't have any access. To There's a Lyca. We got somebody there. Say hi. Howdy. I was in. Howdy. I've been so in I, on my phone. I see one person. You can't read the damn chat, huh? No, you're not said nothing yet. Thank you. We'll see. Maybe we'll I'm get somebody. Maybe if you I'm put your hand on it, right? somebody might to, come in. Um, I don't want to wear the hat. You wouldn't do it for just like I don't want to wear the hat. 30 seconds? I don't want to wear the hat. 30 seconds? Yeah, uh, for you two people. I, I, you know? Hey, you got Edward live right now. Oh, he just said Edward is live? Edward is live right now. That's going to screw things up. So maybe we can get over to Edwards. I go over to Edwards and say... No, it says four people watching Edwards right now. Yeah, he'll be talking. I'm looking at it right now. So, uh... Yeah, you made me forget what I did. Now there's two people watching, though. Um... I don't see nothing over there yet, but howdy. We got anybody in? It says live two people, two people, but nobody's got. I'm um, one of them. Not, not the same. Right there. Oh, you're Thank one. You. Okay. So you're the only one. Yeah, but that isn't isn't that what Tommy always says that the best shows are always done with no topic? Oh boy, is there no topic? Isn't that what he says? I got one guy coming in. Who's here? Who's this guy? Arms. Is that arms distance? Yeah, arms. Have someone five joining one. the chat. Just join the chat. Someone just joined the chat, fellas. Arms has joined the chat. Arms distance? What the heck is this, though? You know what it is. It's my last night with my cousin Brian, and I don't know next time I'm going to be on YouTube with him. And uh, so I've got nothing to say. I wanted to sit here with my cousin Brian. And Hello, Arms. How are you, Arms distance? Say, howdy. What's going on, bud? What's going on okay. here? We don't know what's going, what's going on, on here. We're here. trying to figure that out. One of you we, guys have to lower, lower down the... Lower down? What? You guys got to lower your, uh, your... I think Brian has to lower his phone. Brian's got his phone Somebody's all the way down. watching YouTube right now. They got to lower the voice on it. The only voice that's on is yours. No, you can so we don't it. know what we're trying to do here. We're just trying to figure it out. Uh... We're talking to uh, the mystery guy. We're talking. To, he wants to know what's going on, guys. Yeah, but I'm talking to this guy. Yeah, but he wants this that? guy here wants to know. Um, yeah, what's going on? We he we said what's going on? Hi, Brian. I'm um, said. I see it. But if but if but if uh, arms distance said hello to you, Brian. I know, what's up? If Edwin is on, man, um, I would go on Edwin's. What do you think we should talk about? You have any uh, I ideas? I think we should talk on? about some movies. You know about some movies? What do you I think about... Uh, you know, like, what do you think about Jacob's Ladder, the movie Jacob's Ladder? Um, Looks like you have uh, one person participating in the chat and four people watching. 
It says four people on. What do you think about the Jacob Slatter movie? Um, I plead the fifth on that. <laughs> we, next? <laughs> we just did that 12 minutes ago. And now he pleads the fifth. I plead the fifth on that one. I'm lost. Sure. I, 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 am, I am speechless. Speechless. Um, There's something missing. What do you got next? What do you think of the Jacob's Ladder movie, Brian? Again, I plead the fifth. What did you tell me when I asked you 15 minutes ago, Brian? I said I plead the fifth. No, you answered a totally different movie. That was... You forgot that totally? It was the... We just spoke of that. Was that that movie, Gone with the Wind? This is crazy. I don't know what to say. Are you talking about (laughs) Gone with the Wind? No, I was talking about The Flying Nun. The Flying Nun? How did you get the flying nun from that? Did anybody... St- I, I think I missed a few people there. I don't know. It says there's five people in here. I only see arms distance saying something. Yeah, well, people were he's looking at me. At, because, he's laughing at us right if, now. If I was watching two guys like us right now, I don't know if I would comment. I don't want nobody to know I'm in the room. What the frick is going on here, you know? Let, what, let, are you, what are you drinking? Let me sit back for a while, see what's going on before I make a comment. That's what I would do if, which I, was one, which a, one did you if I was an intelligent person. How do I talk when you, you know, I would say... Which one let, is that, the winter? Let me sit back in the room here for a bit. Is that the... Oh, see how around. the room is red? And which maybe I that, speak up, Lager? maybe I don't speak up. Oh, the Boston Lager. So all these people are smart. His might be stronger than mine. Oh, what do I have, you said? <laughs> I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's some sort of winter ale. Yeah, I get the baby Corona. It's, it's a something. Uh, can you read red? Yes, it's Boston Lager. No, underneath that. Uh, no, I can't. Say. It's too small. I need my glasses. So I did bring out two 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 cowboy hats, but my cousin Brian won't. Wear I'm drinking a Corona. Wear Oh, what does everybody think of the haircut? If anybody, he's got a Samuel L. Jackson. I got a cowboy hat. I wanted to put on for me, and I wanted the cowboy hat to put on for my cousin Brian. We would have been the sheriff and the deputy over here. But Do uh, I really got to wear the hat. I got to wear all the hats, my goodness. Do I really? Do I really? Look at wear I'm wearing hat? all the freaking hats over here. Take my hat, Brian. Please. Do I really got to wear the hat? I just want to see. I just want to see what this. I just want to see the picture at the same time. Ready, like like the Undertaker. Ready, go. Hello. I really... So there's freaking one person in the chat and you really feel like you got to stare at your phone? Uh, I feel like I don't want to wear the hat. That's what I feel like. I All right. Give me it. Adios, hat. His head's not big enough for it. So wait, which one of you fellas taught the other one? Which one of us fellas taught the other one how to do what? What did you teach Well, well, well he, he ain't teaching me shit. Well, what are you guys drinking? I am drinking, I am drinking, a, I am drinking a Samuel Adams winter. Uh, that's a holiday one, so it must have been around a while. How and you doing, we, media? Who came in? Media, 556. Five, you gotta be shitting me, huh? Media is here. How are you? No, you're bullshitting me. He's right there, yeah. Oh, shit. Media, yeah. what's up, bro? <laughs> what's going on? We don't know what we're doing here right now. We're just trying to... It's my last night with whatever, my cousin. Whatever, whatever, you it's, know. It's my last night with my cousin. He's going back home. And uh, we don't have plans to see each other again anytime soon. And I just love what we do, you know. And when we do it on YouTube, I get to watch it over and over and over again. So, I came on YouTube and I wanted to uh, sit here with my cousin Brian, even if we're just sitting and we talk about movies or whatever, anything, for that matter. And I wanted to show off my new haircut, you know. Also, the new look. We should have saved your eyebrows too. So before this came on, I was asking you what the frick with the movie guy. Yeah, we definitely should have done that. We should have put, we should have put a couple of lines in one side. So I was asking, you know, what do you think of the movie The Sandlot? The Sandlot. Um, 
That was a good, actually a good movie. I like that one. Sandlot yeah, was a great movie. Yeah. Um, Tom Hanks was, I think Tom Hanks played a great role. Isn't that one, isn't that the one where, where they played football in the, in, in, the, uh, in the pit? No, they played wiffle ball. And it was, oh. uh, well, who was that? Tom Cruise and... Mike uh, F. How you doing, Mike F.? Hey, Mike F., he what's said, up, bro? Hi, hi to me and you. Mike F., we just come on and say You sure you sure it was wiffle ball? We've been very silly. I thought it was football. We're just, uh, my last night with my cousin here, he's going back home. We don't have no immediate plans to see each other again. We don't have no immediate plans to see each other again, so... The Sandlot. I wanted to keep a memory, maybe, really? if, if one comes about. Well, I'm talking to his bad ear, I guess. <laughs> if one comes about, a moment... The Sandlot. We can take that moment and save it kind of in a bottle. And it will be here forever as long as YouTube is on it. And I can look back at it time and time and time again. So we, we were talking about The Sandlot. The Sandlot. Yeah, I thought Tom Cruise played an excellent role in that movie. But was it, wasn't that the football player, like the little giant? Yeah. That played in the pit? Remember Sam Elliott was the bastard? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do remember that part. Yeah, that was funny. And he was a kid then. They said, I'll bet you you'll be 73 years old, Sam Elliott. And women will still fall down when they hear your voice. And he was a kid then. How did they know that? But didn't that one kid in the, in the, in the <coughs> go to the NFL? Yeah, he stopped the bar fight. And they, uh, and they said he stopped it so well that he might be able to hit balls well. Yeah. So he wound up being in the uh, major leagues, right? In the major league, is that the, the major NFL leagues or the NFL? Yeah, I think he did both. Ah, uh, no. Oh, have you been looking at anything? Anybody say anything at all? Yeah, it's a little late, and uh, you know, I don't know who might it, be on. Uh, media says this this video is a great idea. Oh, I'm sorry, media man. I get lost over here. Good idea. It says. I did this video a couple of times. You never know. You know you're right, man. And even if nothing at all happens, it's still a home, like a home video in a way. And, uh, you know, everybody's so friendly. Nobody says nothing bad on YouTube. So I feel pretty... Uh, Except pretty cool when you had me cursing to make an eggs breakfast as well. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice breakfast, Brian. My cousin Brian started off with a nice breakfast. Adam, did you get an email forwarded to you? I sent it to Tindu and Steve. No, I got to look. You know, I, I got to pay attention to that shit. No, I will. Something I should know. And media said exactly to your to, to what you were saying about the, um, with with uh, what you were just saying to him. About the, you know, this. About, about. Oh, that is a great idea. a great idea. Did I get an email forwarded to me? I sent it to Thindu and Stiggs. No, I did not. I'm pressing the button. As far as I know. Oh, okay. I <laughs> as far as I know, exactly. No, I feel this, like I'm missing something. Maybe the telephone is messing me up. Maybe the telephone guy can help me out here. I got a telephone guy with me also. Go ahead, Mr. Telephone Man. I'm only looking at my phone what, so I can what, what, What's going on? Mr. Telephone Man. Everybody have a nice evening today? The, the email is some good pics of uh, Brian giving you a haircut. Oh, now I'm in on it. I thought I was the only one not in on the joke. <laughs> no, I got to check the email. I got to check it. I've been all over the place today. I forwarded myself an email once. I blocked myself. I blocked myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got another comedian in the house. <laughs> thank you, media. <laughs> you know, thank, I'm always trying to make everybody else laugh. Thank you for making me laugh. <laughs> oh, I wish funny. I could pass you a beer through the freaking uh, through the tube. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and I took a few beers I started getting tired so I was getting a little tired after having a beer or two 
I also said, you know, if we start talking, maybe the YouTube will keep us awake for a little while. Because it's really not that late. We're ready to go to sleep already, man. It's our last night together. Humor is the best fucking medicine. And how many For life. <laughs> it is good medicine. And I got to tell you, I think... How do I say that the right way without sounding odd? I think everybody should have somebody like... Like my relationship with my cousin Brian. I think everybody should have that. It keeps you young. You know, I feel these last few days with my I gotta feel thirty years younger, you know, in a lot of ways. We we messed around, we all we, we, we just as long as Brian been your cousin. <laughs> as long as he has had his hair. No, Brian has is uh fifty two years old. So Brian has been my brother for 52 years, and I've been without him for six years older I am than you, or eight years, seven years. I'm seven years older than Brian, so... Are you, aren't you 59? I'm 59. So how many years older am I uh, than you? I apologize. For, are you kidding me, media? I don't apologize for... I, I'm. I, it's nice to see of. you on here. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Never do that, man. Everything's allowed. I can't wait. I want to get StreamYard next uh, month. Maybe, uh, you know, somebody come up here and help me. It is seven years anyway. Seven years difference, yeah. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, uh, well, not the house I was born in, but where I lived till, till I was about, I don't know, six, seven. It's a little... Uh, but the house I was born in, I lived in with his older brother. And then he was born after I left. That was in Long Island. Long Island. A house in Long Island. That was in Roosevelt. Second house I ever lived in. I don't remember the first house. I was too little. Uh, Brooklyn. Right across the street between from Kings Plaza, for those of you who know that area, Kings Plaza. But get this. I lived there before... King's Plaza was built. And when you looked out the window, you could see the parkway. Once King's Plaza was built, you couldn't see that parkway anymore. And my mother would look for my father's red truck. When he seen the red truck coming, she would show, uh, she would heat the dinner up. But anyways, the second house, he winded up living in the house that I moved out of. But I never lived in the house the same time as he did. In Roosevelt. In Roosevelt. Roosevelt. That Roosevelt. was next to the town, no, at the town yard in uh, town of Hempstead, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you said you couldn't see your uh, father's truck from the parkway? I could see my father's truck uh, from the parkway. Uh, my mother could. I mean, I don't remember any of that. From the Belt Parkway, it was called. It's the Belt Parkway, and when the mall, when the mall, when that mall was not there, you can see the cars on the Belt Parkway. So I'm older than King's Plaza Mall. For any of you know, uh, of the King's Plaza Mall on Exit 11N in Brooklyn. Oh, really? You were born in. Uh, I was born in 1965. Were you born? 1965. March I, I was born 1971. 1971. Uh, 1971. That means you weren't. Over here. That means you weren't born on bicentennial year. No. I'm a. I remember your father was taking me for walks all the time <laughs> when I was a baby. At least I heard stories about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my father actually. Uh, weird. My father took him for walks, but. Uh, uh, and he made a mistake. He thought later on he put a bowl down with water and, and he put some stuff in the bowl. He thought he was a dog. He realized yeah. later it's his nephew. Yeah. But he would walk him instead of me. Yeah. That's, why, that's why they made me grow my hair really long. Wait. No, they would walk Brian <laughs> and I was someplace else. Yeah. What is being said? Uh, media says, "Yeah, he apologized." This is good sort of. stuff. Documents. Oh, how am I not getting that? Family. So, uh, I'm not keeping. 
That's what I do. Read the chat, buddy. On my channel. No, what happened? I pushed it back down the chat to read one, and I never pushed it back up, so it didn't move on its own. So I didn't see that last chat. Yeah, well, you know, uh, media. I've never been married. I have no, no, no children either, so I don't have no real footstep to leave behind in the world. And uh, so this gives me a chance to leave. You know, my nephews. I got, I got four nephews that are really my nephews, and you know how it goes. From other family members and friends, they have their kids call me Uncle Eddie, also Uncle Adam, and I also. This supposed to be my, be my uncle. He never bought me a birthday gift. He never ever. bought me a birthday gift. No, actually, I tried to make a pencil disappear once. My ass hurt for a week. Who said that? A media. My ass hurt for a week. Oh, Neil. Oh, no. I'm no magician. <laughs> media, you make me tell you the thing I posted it a while ago, but maybe you didn't see it. You see about the guy that wanted to lose weight? Uh, media, you have no idea what he made disappear at Media. <laughs> media. <laughs> Did you watch the short about the uh, the fat guy that went to the diet doctor and he trying to lose weight? You just say yes or no so I don't repeat myself. I watch I your watched... videos and shorts all the time. Oh, yes. I was going to do that again about thank you so much, man. I was going to do the one about the yes. guy, the fat guy, stock I'm chewing gum, he says at the end. He said, I don't understand. You know, why you shake a back full like that? Doc, I'm chewing gum. So this morning we made the dog's breakfast first, and then Brian made me made us breakfast. And it was a wonderful way to start the day. And then uh, we Did took everybody see that this morning? Yeah, I, I couldn't believe how many people saw it in comedy. It was actually pretty nice. <clears throat> oh, and, uh, you're still there? Oh, I haven't seen Arms in a while. Yeah. Asleep on us. Well, there's five people, five, six. I didn't expect much. I didn't say nothing to uh, to anybody. I didn't even know I was going to do this to the last moment, you know. How about Mike? Where'd Mike go? Mike oh, he, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's nothing to say. What could they say back, you know? But uh, part of what helped me, you know, you feed off the chat and whatnot. Yeah, that's absolutely what happened. But I didn't know if I was going to tell a story, if I was just going to be a little chat silly or whatever. It doesn't matter. Wait you know? for you to tell a joke. Or say something. the little loud. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, Brian just... He, he, joke, right? He, he fails me at these moments. He doesn't do nothing. Uh, I'm leaving it up to me all the time. <laughs> you know, I really wish I, I would have had some sort of thing ready. He doesn't want to share. Would have been something to have ready. Yeah. He's been... None of these freaking things are ready over here. I'm just looking. Who looks like truck? Whoa. Let me see. You look like Chuck, but sounds and like speech Trock much more smarter. Down. Also... His daughter takes him hostage from time to time. Oh, my God. We got hilarious tonight. <laughs> in a good mood. It's good to see you in a good mood, man. <laughs> I hope I add to it. But we were going to watch a movie, so I said, you know what? We're going to watch a movie. We're going to fall asleep in front of this damn movie. I oh, Don is in the hey, house. Hey, Don. How are you? Hey, I can't believe it. Thank you, Don. Good to see you. Oh, uh, that's Donnie Minky driving the house over here. On live, she does that. On live, <laughs> who does that? He's with, with, uh, with Chris. Uh. On live, she does that. We've seen it. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we said we watch a movie, we'll wind up falling asleep. <laughs> Don is saying a lot of arms. Yeah. He's saying a lot of media. Yeah, I pass out when we watch movies. Yeah, that's why we didn't turn the movie on. We said we're going to start last night together. We have no plans to meet up again anytime soon. So we said we're going to watch a movie. That well, let's hope it doesn't happen like that. That like, means, you know, well, we have no plans. That don't mean that we're not going to meet up with each other. So instead of watching a movie where we can't talk to each other, because I'm the type, if you're going to talk to me, Trock is Don on is screen. saying hello to Trock, Chris Trock. Don saying Trock is on screen. Oh, 
Well, drop the link. I don't know. One of one of us they're talking about. Link. Drop the link. They call him one of us truck. Truck is on screen. He's calling you truck, bro. Oh, oh, oh! I get it. Okay, he's got the beard and he's a little bald there. Yeah, I got it. He's a little thinner than I am. <laughs> Hello. Very nice man. Truck. truck got stung by a thousand bees. Adam looks like Adam truck. Adam looks like truck. Okay, I'll take it. He's not a bad man. I saw he dropped the post before I went over there. I thought maybe he had went live. I was going to hop on his show instead of doing this. Mike F., he's saying hello to you, Don. Good to see you. <laughs> That's funny. And I even brought a couple of cowboy hats over. Got a bunch of them in the back there. Yeah, I could do without the cowboy hats. He could do without the cowboy hats. Yeah. Just in case anybody didn't see my cowboy hat yet, I got my cowboy hat to put on. My wife is leaving for uh, for a trip to Texas soon. What should I put on? What should I put? What should I put in in her carry on? Because. Oh, it keeps disappearing. <laughs> With the screening on the, on the, on the, uh, at the airport. Oh, the my T God. TSA. Wow. If you think about who was that dude that used to be on uh, Howard Stern's show, he was riding a motorcycle, his head got chopped off. The comedian. The comedian. Who was that comedian? Gun Dildo what? <laughs> oh, man. He tells a story how he got into an argument with his girlfriend. A rocket launcher. She freaking put a gun. So he won't come back. In his bag, for real. <laughs> what am I missing? <laughs> <laughs> so she won't idea. come back. <laughs> Don, good ideas. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, <laughs> Wow. That'll get him out of here. <laughs> you guys are funny. Who was the comedian that got his head chopped <laughs> off? Either way, someone will get a back out of it. <laughs> You're out of your mind, baby. That was media. He's on a roll tonight. Yeah. And Don. <laughs> Don said the rocket launcher. So she won't come hey, home. Hey, he's helping him out. He's <laughs> helping him out. Yo, the brother has got to help a brother out, man. Hey, yeah. That's funny. They got their rules. We got yeah. ours. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thank you for the humor. <laughs> that is excellent. Are you ready for another one? Yeah. Hold if this you want to get another one, I'm you want to bring another one, one over, yes, yeah, I'm sure. definitely going to get another one. Why not? You want another the same one? Uh, sure. Uh, Our uh, handcuffs with no keys. <laughs> Apologies again. I'm a horrible person. You are not, media. <laughs> the crazy thing is, you handcuffs. The key is universal. All you need is one key. And you can open up all the handcuffs you want. Who needs to be Houdini when you got a key? To all the handcuffs in the world. Don't tease her with a good time. <laughs> oh, he means the handcuffs. If I'm reading that right, don't tease her with a good time with the handcuffs, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you gotta admit that. You gotta admit, we got some funny people in the house tonight. So two, these two are going to town. That is so funny. I can't hear my TV guy. <laughs> oh, hello, fella. How are you tonight? Yeah. Oh, you gave me a different one. What is this, chocolate or something? <laughs> yeah. Is that chocolate beer? Yeah. Yo, I gotta show this. What is this? It's a... <laughs> Yo, that's what this is, man. This Hi, is Bella. Looking wild. Who are you saying hello to? Bella came in. She you gotta be kidding me! No way. What am I missing? 
You're messing with me. No, she did not. Bella's in the house. Hello, Bella. Thank you so much. <laughs> Why do I not see Bella's name? Hey, uh, Adam. Why don't you pull out your crochet ring and show these people how you crochet so nicely? Wow, it is Bella. I just saw her. Bella, I'm honored that you decided to come on to this little channel here. Yeah, she said hi. Thank you so much. Yeah, I shaved it off. I shaved it off. And I got myself a nice no, little... No, he didn't shave it off. Well, I shaved, shaved it, off. it off. And I got myself a nice little <laughs> cowboy hat to cover it with. No. <laughs> Dingbat. Yeah, you know what? That might be a good idea, Mr. Telephone Man. He's done this Jackson Black Bear. <laughs> Don's on a roll, too. <laughs> actually, actually, they may think it's what weird. What did I give you? Yeah, you gave me some chocolate stuff. It's Don, Manila Don Porter. Here wants to know if you're drinking Samuel Jackson black beer. Yeah, you know something? This one's rough. I got to tell you, this one is rough. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's the vanilla. Whoa, this should have been like the fifth beer because by the time you have the fifth beer, you don't care if somebody pisses in it. You don't care what it tastes like by the fifth beer. Cheers. Cheers to you, cuz. I love it. Looks great. Thank you, Bella. Thank you so much. I was a little nervous about it. If you see the video, I was, I was like, wow. I was trying to talk myself into it. But uh, every yeah. time I spoke to my cousin Brian, he wouldn't leave me alone. Only five beers, amateur. No, I mean five beers. <laughs> Bella said, well, "Only five beers till you give me a crap beer like this. This beer is a little uh, not tasting that good." It don't taste good. I don't like to flavor it. So I said, you couldn't wait until the fifth beer. By the time I get the fifth beer, I don't care what it tastes like. <laughs> but the first one, the second one, the third one, let it be a nice tasting beer, you know, until I don't care no more. Yeah, but if you drink a bad one on the second one, the third one will be better. Yeah, this tastes like pure vanilla, okay? If I, <laughs> like I got it, just like, <laughs> how can I explain it the right way? Poof. <laughs> Not even a six-pack cheapskate. <laughs> oh, God. We're getting picked on over here. Oh, my God. I just felt that one. I got a black eye from that one. Ouch. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I need someone to stop these blows here. Help me out, yeah. Brian. Vanilla. Yeah. Yes, it tastes like vanilla. We got a spotlight. Well, well Don had me laughing here, but media. if I could explain, this like, tastes like, let's say, uh, the best way I could explain it, Vanilla Febreze. If you could taste vanilla Febreze, an air freshener, that's what I'm drinking right now. <laughs> yeah, what, freaking squirt, squirt. That's what, uh, that's what Bella's saying to you, yeah, vanilla. Good. That's not a beer. That's not supposed to happen. But I'm going to finish it, man. I'm not going to waste it. You I know? mean, come on. They put ginseng in beer now and stuff like that and coffee, like yeah. coffee and stuff. Well, I don't That's have an alcoholic means coffee. I right? don't have a whole lot. Or an energy drink in there, beer. There's only maybe eight left right. or twelve left, you know. So they can jump off the roof. So I can't be picky right now. Right. So what jumps they, off the roof? I'm sorry, I didn't listen I to my beer. That's what alcoholics need is a ginseng or any kind of energy drink in their beer now that they make. You know, they put that. They oh, that gives them a heart attack. The Red Bull with it. That's so like you that. can go further. You remember the Red Bull in the shots? Kids were dying from that stuff. That's so you can go further. Yeah. Vanilla, no wonder you can't grow any hair. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, Brian, help me out here. I should have left that piece. Fuck? I should have left that piece on the on, on the left side of his Yo, head. Yo, man, I need. He can wear his bow. I need to put some his vanilla beer. I need to put some <laughs> head gear on. <laughs> I need to put some head gear, head gear on with Don. Yeah, no, you should be wearing Don's your... killing the hell out of me. If you're not, on, if you're not wondering in traffic after a good night out drinking, sorry, we just keeps disappearing. You after either. a good night out drinking, you either haven't drank enough, nor have a good friend or have good friends. Good friends hold you back. Fuck them. <laughs> Yo, if you could lay on the floor without holding on, you're not drunk enough. D. Martin. <laughs> if you could lay on the floor without holding on, you're not drunk enough. Silly. 
Wah, wah, and then wah, I, did, I I posted a part of that. I think he goes on to say, uh, well, he don't drink no more. What's he freeze them and what's he do with them? He makes ice pops out of them. He don't drink no more. He freezes it. He uh, makes ice pops out of them. And he makes ice pops out of them. That's old D. Martin. And Bella's saying hello to Don. Well, like you said, it's my last night. Don's la uh, saying LOL. He's laughing at you. <laughs> the Dean Martin. Just silly. You're so not drunk until you have to grab the grass to keep from falling off the face <laughs> of the earth. Friggin' media oh, is... Oh, man. Friggin' media is knocking him out of the park tonight. I, <laughs> I was going to say that's a home one, but since bases were loaded, that was a grand slam, brother. Out of the park. <laughs> that is so funny. Wow. Yeah, we had a couple of base hits before that one, and you just hit it out of the park. Grand I'm sorry. Slam. I'm enjoying this right now. This is so yeah, much fun. Grand Slam. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we got a champion in the house. I want <laughs> Thank to you so I, much. I want to say I want to shout at the title, but I don't think I got a better one. Than that. <laughs> that, that worked. No, your dad jokes are all right. That, that, that They're worked. all right. <laughs> no, I want to just read that one more time. <laughs> Let me bring it back. I got to look at that one more time. I won't read out loud. Hold on to the grass to keep from falling off the face of the earth. I've been there. Trish says, true story. Been there. Also, grass sticks to pants. Where is my, is my thing not scrolling up? You're not drunk. Oh, that's where I am. Do. Yeah, that's the last thing I saw. You're not drunk until you can do yoga moves. <laughs> <laughs> yoga moves. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, I got so drunk, I thought I sang so good at a karaoke. Somebody recorded me, and I was terrible, man. And I was singing one song what after another. Karaoke? Am I saying the word right? It's April Fool's it's Day on, today. Karaoke going April it is Fool's April Fool's Day today. I got so drunk, I thought I was singing karaoke so well. It, it is, it, and sure it, enough, the friends I'm April with, they won't right make, let me make a fool of myself. So it's, oh my God, they got a girl to say I was singing good too. Can I sing another song? I was singing my ass off. Then I saw the video. My goodness. Shit, Miller, it is. <laughs> it is. It's, it is. What is it? It's April 1st. It's 12.05. Whoa. Yeah. April 1st. Yeah. Whoa. That reminds me of Groundhog Day, April 1st. Yeah. It is. April 4th. That's, that's why you got a vanilla beer. I used to do yoga. <laughs> I used to do yoga. I switched to, I, I switched to break dance and I broke my back three times. But cool, cool pants either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, I don't know why it makes me think of why the, the guy with pants. Why the guy wore an extra pants to the golf when he went to go play golf. I don't know why your joke. <laughs> All just, distance lessons. I don't know why your <laughs> joke, media, just made me think of this. But you know, the guy that plays golf, he got to bring an extra Irish pair. Pants, he got to bring yeah. an extra pair of pants with him because just in case he gets a hole they in one. Two, they had two different guys. Yeah, he might get a hole in one of his pants. They had the fake version and the real version of parachute pants. Parachute pants. Yeah, you didn't want the fake version. That was Hammer Time pants. I yeah, called those. They had the two different versions. Weren't the those Hammer Time ones. pants? I had one and they pair. they had the real ones. I had one pair. I had a yellow pair. And another time that I thought I looked, I was, I thought I was, that was it. I bought a yellow pair, a Hammer Time, those big fluffy bottoms with this shirt with a zipper in the middle. You unzipper it? it and the Adidas, the side, right? Right on that side. And the Adidas with the big, big fat laces. Remember the hot pants? That you helped me out reading yet. Remember the hot pants that would change colors with heat? And no. I don't remember that either. No, imagine the colors when you were drunk. <laughs> yeah. That, no, I remember the mood ring. I remember the mood ring. Yeah, I remember the mood ring too. Hammer was, was, Booba, whatever they called him. Hammer time. Fuck it. <laughs> Hammer Time and Vanilla Ice, they were about the same time, I think. I thought those were my boys. They let me down. I never I never really liked Vanilla Ice too much. 
Well, Vanilla Ice, anybody that knows, he he he, he builds houses now. Yeah. He's got a whole new trade. He's very happy with life, from what I understand. You know. And uh, let's. I remember you used to be on that surreal life movie. Parachute pants. Mother of God. All the, all the zippies. Oh, yes. I remember all those zippies. Don't, Don't wear them on a cold day. day. Someone's calling you. I remember all the... That's Michelle. I can't answer her right now. Mich Ice is Michelle right. is calling me. Right here, right now. She hears you on live, you banana. Well, maybe she would need to tell me something. You know what? Live. You got this chat for a minute? I'm gonna I'm gonna take her phone call. You continue to this for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. I didn't. I got an unexpected right. phone call from somebody. I have to answer. He's holding into Walt Drill. I'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Except for he's taking you away. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to cut the chat out. She's ringing you over here. He's holding a DeWalt drill. Wow, you guys are funny tonight. I love it. I definitely love it. You guys are killing me. What's that noise? Well, he's getting a phone call. He's getting a phone call real quick. He said he'll be right back. That's what that noise was. <laughs> Not even, he's getting a call. Not even the president would excuse him. You have a, uh, Bella has a, a mood ring. I was at the store. Yes, very great memories. That is right. Yeah, I think he might have gone to go find his old parachute pants there, media. Actually, uh, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't want to see him in them. That'd be kind of scary. At least I think so. Comical, but scary. You see, I'm used to Adam doing all the talking. You know, let me say nothing. Could you imagine the nightmares from Dumb saying that to media about Adam wearing parachute pants? No, they gotta be calling me. Hold on. Hello. Yeah. I couldn't imagine. I can't read the chat no more. Because. My wife, oh, this thing's gonna fall over. Because <sighs> my cousin's a, my cousin's a maniac. He knocked it over. <sighs> she punched Bellum. My wife has a mood ring. She punched me with it once. It said to <laughs> <laughs> from the government. Oh, wow, that's funny. <laughs> I will. All right, I love you. I hope you have a great time. Bye-bye. <laughs> out of the dark. Here he comes. Here he comes out of the dark. Look How are we doing? See, I think he found his parachute pants. You guys want to see? Oh, I got my parachute pants. Oh, my God. What did he do? He took the chat all the way from us over here? Yeah, I took everything away. What happened? Who? Anybody else? We got? Wait, I don't see nothing now. You took everything away from us. Yeah, but you're taking it right away from me. You put it right in front of you. That's okay. That's okay. Well, now there's nothing. It's okay. You're all good. 
Everything's good there. Big you're, you're all good. You're all good. No, no, you changed some look. stuff around there on us. You, you knocked it over. It was all falling. So if you don't mind, just I... Calm down. I just... You all knocked it over there, down. knucklehead. Calm down. I just got a phone call from... Uh, she actually, after I told her what happened, she said that you could please share this if you want to. I told her where I was, that I was on YouTube. She was watching... She's away, my... 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 Step, my uh, okay. My sister, she's away. And she's in a place where you're not supposed to smoke a cigarette. So this morning, she goes out on the balcony and she sneaks a cigarette. And while she sneaks a cigarette, you know, she's watching. She says, let me turn on YouTube. Let me see my brother, what he posted. He sees the video right, this morning right. of me making a breakfast. And as she's smoking a cigarette, my fire alarm goes off on the breakfast. She says, oh, my God. Uh, she says, you made me tap that cigarette out so fast, I got so scared. I thought, I thought the fire, so I set the fire alarm blow. <laughs> so I just thought I would uh, share that story. What did that, that wasn't else? breakfast today. That was uh, well, whatever that was. That was yesterday breakfast for the dogs. I remember. You set the fire alarm off. You yeah, well, well, she watched it this morning is what I was trying to say. While she's sneaking a cigarette. <laughs> I used to... I used to change colors upon mood. I changed my shorts, and I got... What are you up to there? <laughs> my goodness, what is that word on the bottom there? A lobotomy. A lobotomy. Oh, my God. A that's... lobotomy. <laughs> Media's having a good time tonight. At least he's not, they're not beating me up anymore. I'm getting beat up there. I got a few punches to the left and the right there. <laughs> You left me to the devices. Yeah, I'm sorry about I'm this. Not as you. I'm sorry about it being crooked. Uh, Brian moved this a little bit, and now it's uh, crooked, and it's a little too close to us. Is it? You're still in there, Brian. You're still there, cuz. That's funny. I'm surprised she called you to tell you that. Tonight. Yeah, well, no, she was just calling just to call, you know, for something else. That's not related to uh, to anything about on YouTube yet, but but in the conversation, I happen to say you that I had to step away because you called me on YouTube. You told me while I'm on YouTube, and that comes up. She says, "Oh, you're on YouTube right now. You're never gonna believe what you did to me this morning." She said, and that's how I heard that story. She didn't just come out and say, <laughs> "She likes to watch us." Where was uh, where was our telephone guy? Right there. Is our telephone guy still here? He's there. Yeah, I'm right here, everybody. Just calm down, all right? Take it easy. I got no interviewer. I got nothing going on here. Why are you oh, limping? Yeah. Come here. Come here. I used to... Why are you limping? You okay? You girls want to go out? Come on. Let's go. Oh, you want to take the dogs out? Maybe? I'm going to put them out. Maybe we'll take the dogs out. Maybe... Oh. You know what? I'm limping just like you. She feels my pain. I'm gone. Gonna... I think I'll take the charge out. I think it's charged enough. Let's take ourselves outside for a bit. Yeah, we'll see how this works out. If you take a walk with me, I mean... I'm going to take a step outside for a bit. I got to put... Yeah, my cousin Brian bet me I couldn't do this. Wow, you pulled out like 25 knots. Yo, you gotta wear an intro. No, just leave those alone right now. And you gotta wear this one. You gotta, you gotta yeah. put this one on. Which one? This one. Oh, bring it over here. Let me see. I didn't see that. Just don't, that one. just don't. Oh, mess. that would go perfect. Get your hands up. Just don't mess up the water, okay? Just don't mess the water. You gotta put. I took them all, put them down like that. You got to wear that one. Yo, I got another hat over here. I got an evil Knievel hat now. Oh, with an evil Knievel cowboy hat or something like that it is. Let's go out and have a cigarette. You got to put this back on and sing. This is going to bright. You got your cigarettes with you? Uh, you take your phone. You got to put that back on and sing. It's going and bright. Sorry, everyone. Oh, well, I'm not really be sorry about it. I'm just chilling. Read the chat. Yeah, I used to change colors upon... Why, am I backed up here? Oh, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Dave, Boston Dave, I'm sorry, my chat's Boston not Dave. moving. That's Dave. terrible. What's up, bud? Boston Dave, it's good to see you, man. Thank you. Okay, so cigarettes 
are not allowed. But snorting is okay. <laughs> That's Don. Oh, I'm catching up with a chat now. It didn't stroll on me. All right, I promise I'll keep up from now on. And, and Bella's talking to Don. Would you light the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna light. A, I'm gonna light the fire out here. Brian will hold my phone for me for a minute. I'm gonna get a fire, a fire going for us if we're gonna be out here. For it's us. dark out here. He can't see us. Don't worry, I get a fire going. It'd be nice. It take me just a moment. It only take me a moment. I get it going nice. Yes, very funny, Don. <laughs> He's gonna light the fire. Where am I watching out for? No, not you. Okay, let's get a nice little, but it is a little chilly out here. You got a little bit of fly going. Go ahead. You don't have to do that, I got it. There we go. Trying to kill me. Let's get this thing going nicely here. You got anybody say anything? What's up, Dave? Good to see you also. How do you like the party? Up? Hey, you want to take over again? Yeah, one second. Uh, what are you doing there? Just hold it for one second. I'll be right there. I'm, I'm just in the flame here. You know? You know, right? <laughs> evil can evil. He got me into motorcycles since I was a kid. He's a legend. I agree. Oh, I that agree. was my guy. Evil can evil was my guy. Man. I agree. Evil can evil was the man. Evil can evil was my guy. Yeah. Okay. Did we lose Joe? Ooh, I don't know if he's still there or not. Yo. I don't know, I think he's gone. All right, we're doing all right over here. Should I try to call him back? Oh, did you shut a fire at all? Hi. Oh, he's there now. Okay, we got you. Oh. And this is our little table fire. We got a little table fire going on over here. I think it looks pretty. It keeps you warm, I gotta tell you. It's awfully nice. Yeah, it's not that it's bad. It, it, it nice. certainly does the job, I gotta say. Yeah. Hi, Brian. Good to see you. Pal, that's Dave just said that. Yeah, I've seen that. And uh, awesome. Love the... Love the good fire. It is nice, uh, Boston Dave. Trust me. Where is this? Where is the marshmallows? You know something? In another world, I would, but there's such nice stones on here. If I dropped one piece of marshmallows on these stones, it would be so sad, you know, to do that. Yeah. Yeah, the chat's, it's not moving on its own. I don't know why. I got to ch check my settings. If I don't scroll up, it's not telling me somebody else is talking to us, so I got to keep on scrolling up. All right, I'll talk to you, but I'm on a bit of a delay here. Once. Yeah. Sorry. A live magic trick uh, he would like to see. What could a be a live magic, magic trick? You, you, where's the deck of cards? I'll show him a card trick. Remember? From Boston, be laborious. Okay, you then get the stakes to out. see a live magic trick. I must have missed that. Media just told me that. And the uh, roundup circle we had as kids. Oh shit. Got this picks all over my garage. Oh shit, that was Dave from Boston. That I didn't even read it out loud, I just realized. I read it in my head. Okay, then get the 
The steaks out. Get the steaks out. Well, well I got a good grill over here. If I ever gonna go steaks, a nice state of the art grill over here. It would make anything taste good. You could put uh, cardboard in there. It tastes great. We actually, they actually, but, uh, we actually butchered a half a cow. Yeah, we did. So we got the real good steak. Any meat? Yeah, there's a. Well, some people don't like to uh, eat meat, so I don't want to talk about meat too much. But we got some nice steaks that we uh, we ate this week from. Uh, from a butchered cow that has no kinds of uh, chemicals in them or not. Yeah. They, they're farm raised. They live great. Delicious. They get treated well, and they uh, and they taste delicious. And they taste great. Big difference. And I can't tell you how different these oh, eggs taste. Uh, Five point five six media. It's good to see you. It is good to see you. <laughs> media, left my ass off, Mr. Smith. <laughs> Wow, I do look actually very shiny. I'm not used to seeing myself with a bull's head. All right. Yeah, people have, you know, hanging out by the campfire over here, by the fire. Make a couple of s'mores and another. Well, actually, there's a nice campfire a little bit away from the house here. Um, If Brian was going to stay one more night or whatever, maybe I'd do it later on this week. Uh, It's a nice campfire I could start. It's a little ways about the uh, way from the house. Uh, Until you light it up, you don't know what's around you. You know, it's on the other side of the fence. So I like to keep the dogs out, because if anything comes, at least they bark. Yeah, like the coyotes or the the foxes or the brown uh, black bears or brown bears. Well, there was a family of fox here. They're totally harmless. They're they're totally harmless. It was grass-fed there, Don. It was grass-fed. They were grass-fed. They were all, these cows were were, were raised nice. Put me over to that microphone. Put them over to the microphone. Thank you. He's got to talk to somebody. Put us closer. Yeah, I got my phone guy with me here. Also, I got you nice and close to the friggin' phone there. Mr. Telephone Man. <laughs> Mr. Telephone Man. <laughs> That's just somebody that I talk to that he doesn't go on the chat really too much. So. Yeah, Don thinks he's fancy over there with the waggle. He's only, believe me, he's all good. He's only joking around. <laughs> it's funny. Why, what did I see? What I miss with the ragu? Yeah, I like breaking balls, man. That's what I do. Who do we got here? You're not reading. Go scroll up. Who who do we got here? No, I got to keep on scrolling yeah, down. Right. That's what's going on. All I keep... in good fun. Greetings, mystery phone Ooh. man. Oh, greetings, Mr. Phone Man. It's terrible. It won't scroll on its own. What kind of meat? Grass fed? He just got yeah. hung up. He just got hung up on it. Yeah. Help me out here. Get me back. What the fuck is that talking? Oh, it's all, it's a, he, he's just trying to make the, the uh, media, Don, he's just trying to enhance the uh, show. He's he's all good. You know, he's trying to help me out, you know, trying to be a little funny. I Please ne- leave your message. What state am I in? I'm in New Jersey. I'm in the state of New Jersey. It's beautiful out here. I'm I'm, I'm a little off the. Uh, it's dark here, so you can't see what's around me. Over here. I tried to call my we got phone. You back. Oh, we got him back. Yeah, Don was a little worried there. Who the heck is over here? We got a newcomer here talking uh, shit about spaghetti. So, uh, who came in? Don was a little concerned. You know, we got people talking about spaghetti over here. We got a newcomer on the phone here <laughs> talking about spaghetti shit. So, well, yeah. you know, I had to say this. You know, I had to let him know everything's good. You know, it's all good right here. Let's get the spaghetti man. What's the... Uh, who's that dumb nuts? Who's that... Mr. Wait, let me Don Minky, I'm the handler. Let me see. Where, I, where does it say who's the numb nuts? Who's that... Numb nuts talking better. Uh-huh. Don said that. <laughs> and uh, Bella, in the state of total disgrace because Maryland. I'm in the state of total disgrace because of, of Maryland. What? Yo. Put me closer. Don can't hear me. He yeah, can, you're, you're, you're right, right on the phone. You're right, you're right on the phone. I can show you. I can show you on the phone if you want. You don't want that, right? No, oh, get the hell out of here. Yeah, so I, you're right below the phone there. If I lift you up, you're seen. Yeah. 
You know, it's, I will put you right on screen, but you're We're in the state of disgrace. Believe me, they hear, Maryland, you could be Maryland. heard better than I can we're be heard. We're now 22. You're now, we're up. now 22? Scroll up again. Me too. I'm the uh, Route 17, Bella said. Okay. No, no, we're near Route 22. We're now 22 a little bit more. I hear your secret phone guy. No, <laughs> not no, no, no secret. It's just, just, uh, just a. F we didn't know if it was gonna be a funny thing or. or I was what. just on the phone talking with these fellas, and they wanted to go live, so I wanted to stay on. Yeah, so he wanted to be staying on, and it's just all funny stuff, you know. It's all love. It's yeah. all love. No disrespect to anyone, you know, no. at all. That sounds like truck because the IT isn't working good. Oh, Don says you sound like Trump. Because Don got tons of hair in his ears and he can't hear anything. Whoa! <laughs> that is that not Trump. Uh, me and yourself. Hair on his back is growing up into his ears. Whoa, Don, he's talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, Don. It's, it's all in good. It's hey, Don. I love you, buddy. It's all in good fun. I don't know you, but I love he's you. Laughing. You know what I'm saying? He's laughing. He's laughing. He's laughing. <laughs> yeah, there, there was no bad feelings here at all. It's all just for fun. It's, it's all just, just, yeah. just funny. Fun, Absolutely out of fun. <laughs> I'm Adam's nephew, man. Yeah, I'm, that, I'm well, you yeah. all the time when he's videotaping. No I'm the guy behind here. the camera breaking his balls. If you've ever seen any of my video dons, which I know you have, he's Bell the guy. That, cool. He's the guy that talks to me. You know, that helps me out every once in a while, so I remember my stories. Was that it sounds like, like fish on I'm mess. not fish. Sounds like fish on mess. <laughs> I'm not on that. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely uh, not that's, dealing with a spoke. That's the new Al. Don said. At least he's <laughs> at least he's going with it. Thank you, Don, for going with it. Nah, you. I know uh, you're just kidding, media. I know you're just kidding. Fun. All this good. is all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to get past the awkwardness first, then they realize it's all good. Yeah, nah, yeah, it's like a fun... It's just fun. <laughs> no harm. Bring out the obvious. Try to get somebody pissed. <laughs> Bella, Bella thinks it's funny. It, it is funny. <laughs> ah, there's uh, Baywatch. Here Bay comes the Oh, Baywatch is in the house. Now, now it's a party. Baywatch uh, is here. We're good now. All right, baby. <laughs> all right. Let's get down and go. Hi, videotape. <laughs> the clay... He videotaped. Yes, my guess. Correct. It's the wise ass nephew. Yes, Smart yes, man. yes. The brains of the operation. You know something if you only knew. <laughs> You're a smart man, Mike F. If you only knew, Mike F, the brains of the operation, half the times, I, how many times he tries to get Isn't me on? Isn't that like Inspector Gadget? Like Inspector Gadget has the brains. He, <laughs> he said, Don, Don is getting mad because he got the hair in his ears. <laughs> Nobody's ever, I've never seen the man. How do we know? I've seen Don before many a time. Oh, you have? You, oh. Sure. <laughs> He's a great guy. I love him. Don. What do you got to say, Jim? What's going up. on? Yo, good to see you guys. It's good <laughs> to see you, media man. Baywatcher, thank you. Mike says hello, Baywatcher. And Mike's saying hello to Baywatcher. <laughs> Damn, I got to keep on scrolling this up. It doesn't scroll up on those zones. It's going now. Media greetings. Media greetings. There it goes. It just dro dropping in. Oh, Paul no just way. dropped in to say oh, good night. Oh. And have a good Easter Monday, everyone. Hey, Yo, Paul. It's good Happy. to see you, my man. You know what? You stop by. That means everything, man. Thank you for taking a like moment. They said it's April Fool's it's Day. Stop by. Watch the way you know. It is April Fool's. My goodness. It's me. It's their handle. I have to handle these colors once in a while. They like out of the control. Yeah, on the phone. Yo, we figured yeah, it could. You're it, losing it again. It, could, it, could, it, could, it couldn't hurt, we figured, you know. I might get I'm there, I'm, I'm there, homie, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's on the same side as all of us. We're on the same side. It's all gravy. They know that, man. It's all gravy they unless... It, we got 11 people now watching. That's great. It's all great. gravy unless it's this, sauce. Though. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're having such a good time. I, 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 <laughs> this stuff just makes me feel younger. It just makes me feel young again. I'm and we came on here with nothing to talk no, about. No, there was no hey, What are you doing? Stick around. The Brian Adams Donna's, show. Media said Don is sitting on my lap right now. We're both angry because oh, they're not angry. They're fucking around. Anonymous phone guy. <laughs> they're not angry. They're nice yo, happy Easter, sir. <laughs> yo, happy Easter, sir. I'm. Come on. I like Bay you. Watcher. 
<laughs> this is hilarious. I'm sticking. <laughs> we got media laughing now. <laughs> Yo, I think I'm laughing more than anybody. Five, I mean, five, six, everybody eight, on here is a riot. Yeah. I mean, we got oh, we, a bunch of go. we got a crew full of full of comedians just now. <laughs> just a joke. Sorry, no media, no sorry. You know what? The only rule is you can't be sorry yeah, over here. Okay. That's the only me. That's the only rule, media. You can't be uh, sorry. No person. We'll, no. We'll do without the curse. You do whatever you do. Don't worry about it. Media, media. We're joking like crazy here. We're silly off our asses. It's all good, fun, and love. Yo, Baywatch just said something. Let me see. You uh, have a good market for eating. You could do you could, five hour live. And, be oh, do- cool. and, and we donate to keep adding plates. Oh, no, just add donuts. <laughs> just donate <laughs> donuts, man. And I'll eat the make Deborah. I'll eat the donuts. Deborah. Oh, my goodness. Wonderful to see you, Deborah. I'm so glad you finally saw a live there. You can see my shaved head. I shaved myself <laughs> up, man. No, he didn't shave it. I did. Brian shaved me up. Boom, boom, boom. Media. <laughs> Media, you know what you do? <laughs> Who's Get on? some plums. Drink some plum juice. This guy. <laughs> Freak, I shit he's telling me to reach I could shit right now for a week. <laughs> he's telling you to eat some prune juice. <laughs> Hello, he Deborah. He shit since he said on Don Minkie's lap. Deborah, okay. you made my night by showing up. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how long you can stay, but it's a nice... Uh, oh, Chris, uh, Chris uh, Chuck, yeah. how you hey, doing, pal? You, I'm not going to say my name, but <laughs> little I'm little bit of a crazy night. night. Yeah. I put him all the time. <laughs> we got a couple of jokes going on. People are getting silly. My man, Chris. Chris Truck is in the house. Chris Truck. Actually, people are over here Speaking funnier than I am. And Harry, not Harry Bax. Chris Truck, ladies and gentlemen. Me smile. Thank you, Deborah. You make me smile also. Your Thank comments. You. When I read your comments, it puts an instant smile on my face, Deborah. Thank you for being who you are. <laughs> You're a wonderful person. Oh. They got scared. They got scared. Who got scared? Yo, the sushi owners, they got a little scared for a minute for a while there, uh, Don. I took it away for a minute. What happened? Why you the door, you know? what, doing a smiley face, is yeah, it? Yeah, she's just such a nice, nice person. You almost feel like you wish you personally knew some of these people, you know? Good people. I'm I'm very lucky. Good, Good luck, luck, Five. Good luck, house. media. Good shout out to Deborah. Shout out to Deborah. The, I got a, I got a phone guy with me also. The phone guy shouted out to Deborah. Adam, I'm serious. You guys out to eat is a great. I, yeah, I know. Brian lives. My cousin lives so far away from me. He. Hey, watch, I'm trying to get this guy to move closer to Adam. These guys would be gold. I am trying to get cousin Brian to move closer to me so we can do this more often. You know, he's. he's we'll see. We'll see what happens. Two hours and a half away. And Chris just said hello to Deborah. Can you make the no, phone? No, I'm not guy going disappear? anywhere, Don. Whoa, Don wants the phone guy gone. Oh, sure. Don, you sent me a dozen donuts, a couple of dozen donuts. I eat them live and we get rid of the phone guy. A good move, Baywatch, a good move. And Deborah saying hello to Chris. He likes the chocolate donuts with the uh, the from the end. No, action Boston cream is Boston cream is my favorite, but I always wondered about Boston cream because a donut is just, is, is 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 stated by the hole in the middle. It's stated by the hole in the middle. Is it cold there, uh, Deborah? Uh, a little bit. I got a nice fire going, Deborah. Deborah, I'm gonna move the phone for a little while. So you can see what I got gluten going over free, here. Gluten-free and vegan-free? Gluten-free and... Yeah, Deborah, I just want to show you the nice little fire we got going over here. <laughs> and it's fried? What's good? I got a nice little fire pit going to keep us a little warmer. Because, yeah, it is a little... I'm Brian are living like kings over It's a little there. bit chilly out. The room is shining like diamonds. Look at you guys. <laughs> so like cake. <laughs> the rings are like cake. Got two fresh, clean haircuts. There is no hair left. The hair is gone. 
Mine's grown back. Mine's grown back. Mine's actually grown back pretty fast. Mine's grew back already. Mine's grew back pretty, pretty fast. No, don't take my cigarettes. Oh, I gotta put this. I gotta put the ashtray back there behind it. It's again, like, like you had it. It's not right. The phone. The phone ain't right for me. Oh my God, you're killing me. It's facing too much you're up. Boston cream, thank you. <laughs> Deborah. So, Deborah, you got to come with us one night. We got to have sushi, all of us. I heard you like sushi. She lives in Ohio, bro. Oh, Ohio. Adam, I'm getting a buzz soon, too. Baywatch, you're going to go you're going to go for it? I can't believe I did this. I can't I still can't believe I did it. And Chris is saying hello to uh, Boston Dave. What'd you do, Adam? Spring cleaning. Bay Watcher. You know, I got a nice stand for this phone, but it's just like too high up. It's not looking at me nice. That's fine. Keep moving around. Well, well, Brian, peace out for a few minutes. I don't know where he went. Hopefully, Brian we'll took off. Hopefully, we'll we'll get it. you look just, 10 years younger. Start. Thanks, sir. Don't Thanks, Bay Watcher. I take it. There. I'll fly in. I, I live in da Dallas, Texas. Hey, I'll meet you halfway, Deborah. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll find a sushi place on the way. <laughs> Maybe we wait till my hair grows back. We wait a week or two till my hair grows back. Sushi's a good way to s track yourself into eating avocados. Oh, shit. That was Baywatcher. Hey, truck. You said uh, eating uh, sushi was a good way to tr get you to eat avocados. Oh, okay, thank you. The truth, it's filled with so much rice. That's uh, how they get you. I'm too close here. I gotta move it back. Yeah, Adam he does look uh, a lot younger with his head shaved, but. Well, I gotta tell you, so far it's been a pleasure waking up yeah, and not to be a little and not have to taking care of the hair right away, you know. But when you got no hair, do you still use shampoo? You know, I mean, what what happens there? I told you yes. You have to shampoo your head, bro. Definitely yes. Your scalp gets dry. The ginger pack of ginger. I, 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 do you like the ginger on my shoe? You know, Deborah, you, you don't... put moisturizing cream on your head. Uh, so white fish. No, the interface, the impatient crab has uh, uh, has some shark in it. I can promise you that. I don't know what other crap it has in it, but the, in the imitation crab has has shark in it. It has uh, he, uh, Baywatch is saying it has white fish in it. It may, it may, it may. I, I know that imitation shrimp also. I never touched that stuff. Media's got to go to bed. My Virginia, her, her vagina. My vagina hurts because Let's imitation crab. Everyone have a good night. Yo, media, thanks for stopping by. It yeah, means man. everything. You made the night, man. You Thank got a you couple so of good ones in there, man. <laughs> you gave me a nice left and a nice punch, man. A nice right. Somebody else knocked that out of the park there. We did all right there. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night's sleep. <laughs> for Dinah's hurting. You guys will have to try the dessert egg sushi. Hey, you know something? I should have I shouldn't have stopped. You know, I always stop too soon. I had more of an appetite in me. I could have ate another thing of sushi there. You party pooper. You Don party pooper done. Uh you know, it is uh, getting a little late there. You know. That ain't getting late at all. The shark. I'll, I will eat smoked shark. I've had shark before. I That's will eat any good. fish raw. Yeah, I'll eat any. And I will eat any fish raw. Any fish that you can you cook. Fish raw? Any fish that you can cook tastes more flavorful if you eat it raw. I've eaten blue fish raw. Get out of here. You guys will find a more comfortable joint. We're pretty comfortable here, if that's what you meant. Yeah, we're very nice and comfortable here. This this fire is what a nice heat it's giving. Of course, it is getting a little chilly out here. I won't lie. No, that thing's kicking. It is nice. kicking, yeah. Adam smokes, Adam smokes salmon with a squeeze of lemon. Yes. Salmon is the best. Yes, salmon and I've always made a 
made a mistake. I've always told people you put the lemon on at the end because when you put the lemon on while you're cooking the fish, it makes it like rubbery or tight. Turns out all these years I've been wrong. Somebody proved to me that I was wrong. I like the pepper. Adam, they have a special Adam didn't I make a nice uh, salmon dish for you to taste it? It is a live squid. Whoa, you see what Baywatch just said? Look. They have a special dish in Japan. It is live squid. I've seen that oh, on yes, YouTube. I've, I've seen, seen them too. eat that. I've, I've seen, seen them too, eat yeah. that, and it's still moving yes. while they're eating it. Adam loved the shaved smoked salmon. Isn't that isn't that lox? I love smoked salmon. Well, well, I think uh, yeah, Don. What Don said, I think uh, smoked salmon does turn into lox. Am I wrong? Yeah, slap that with Am a, I right? I'm wrong, Don. With a red onion on a bagel with cream cheese. Yeah. Plus scallions. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, tomato, smoked salmon. Some olive oil. I think that's considered. I think that's considered. Uh, it's good with, when you smoke it with just a little black pepper. Deborah's giving oh, love out. She's giving the hearts, Deborah. Thank you. Thank you for all the good vibes, Deborah. <laughs> but hey, when, you put the, when you put the wood chips in the smoked salmon, you yes. try to you try to like uh, marin uh, you try to marinate the wood chips in like a, um, a Jack Daniels or something. Like a whiskey or something like that, and smoke it like that it gives a nice flavor. Really? To it. Well, yeah. Well, actually, I have slowed down in my cooking. I don't cook as much anymore, so uh, I don't consider myself a great, great cook. But my cousin Brian, believe it or not, he can hold his own in the kitchen. He does all right. As a matter of fact, the whole time he's been here, he's been the one to cook. I have not cooked. He's been cooking. Baywatch is giving love to, to Deborah. How can't you? Such a wonderful human being. Did we lose, uh, did, did, uh, oh, the phone's still right here, okay. I just had a lamb, see these words, man. I just had a lamb something and chops. What is that? With chicken salt, mmm, oh my God. You gotta share some of that stuff. That's, that's our, it's good. It's what we know as a gyro. What is that? Your gy it's a, yeah, lamb gyro. a gyro. A gyro. The lamb gyro. Thank goodness for the yeah. phone, dude. A gyro. Did I used to go to town on that? Oh yeah, those are great. Gyros. They, you can't find the old style gyros anymore, man. Yeah, with man. the white sauce. Yeah. And the lettuce, uh, the lettuce tomato. I can't onion. find a white, uh, the, the old style oh, gyros. Oh, yeah, I can get them uh, in Long Island. Like, great. Oh, they're wonderful. Really? Oh, yeah. That's a good one. There's I'm going nice to have to look for some gyros now, man. And I will be honest with you, I've been a big eater my whole life, you know, so I would go with friends. We get these big gyros. They It's actually a, a gyro, ain't it? Not gyro. In they the can't, Greek, they couldn't even gyro. finish one. I'd wind up eating two of them. Isn't it pronounced gyro? I don't know. That's you the way got the Greeks me. say it, right? I'm lucky I know uh, English. You have, uh, crazy, curvy, purple Crazy, lady purple lady. Oh, my goodness. Look at me. Hi. My goodness. Who's better than me? Debra, Debra's here. Love How you the, doing, Debra? Love the mooch. Thank you, crazy purple lady, for coming in and always saying nice comments to me. Yes, Brian, you're, you're, you're saying it right, yeah. You're wearing uh, purple. Gyros. You're wearing Euro. purple. Am I, uh, yeah, I, I guess Greeks I am. Yeah. Euro. Right. I thought euros was money. No. My buddy, <laughs> Italian <laughs> chef. Baywatch, my buddy, Italian chef, one Thanksgiving, I told, I told him I want a gyro. I told him I want a gyro. He's like, here and pulled it out the fridge. <laughs> okay, Chris Trock. Adam, every summer we have a big Greek feast and they shave the lamb fresh off and make gyros. Oh my wow, God, that's, that like must a, that's like a fresh pig That's roast. gotta be amazing. That's like a fresh pig My goodness. Roast. Wow, is he Greek? My good, that's gotta be amazing. Is he Greek? Tomato, tom tomato, tomato. It's pronounced different in different places. That was a uh, crazy purple lady. You know, I work for a Greek guy who sells, uh, I make ice cream with him. And Don's Green with Trock, that it is the best. And I brought some dessert for me and my cousin Adam. Gyros, fresh gyros, I can't even it imagine. It was really good. I got it all. Oh yeah, he's actually talking, well the chat's, I'm trying to keep up with the chat too. <laughs> but he brought some really special ice cream uh, last night. 
Some people don't even use lamb. What do they use instead, then, if they don't use lamb? Beef. They use beef instead yeah, now? Yeah, they mix up beef and lamb sometimes. Wow. And Mike F. is saying hello to Crazy Purple Lady. She's saying hello back to him. They use beef and lamb sometimes. Well, I forget what lamb. the name of it. Maybe the phone guy. Uh, we used to do the heart of the lamb. lamb. On the, split. the heart of the lamb. That was called what kind of a sandwich? With the heart of the in. lamb. You keep letting it go away. I can't read it. I'm reading. I'm sorry. It's lamb on the split. Oh, that sounds That's delicious, man. Tomatoes, yeah, sound lemons, good, right? and herbs. Oh, my God. I'm glad I, I, I ate already, yeah. man. This is, wow, this is tough to read this stuff and not get hungry again. I can tell. I can yes, tell, Brian. Chris. He, Chris, you see what Chris is saying to you? Yes, Chris I can tell. I can tell by the way you're talking. Because I work with two, oh, wow. I, work, I, I work for two Greek guys. Two different Greek guys. Yeah. You can tell by his accent. <laughs> no, I can tell by the way he's talking about the food. Well, by the way, he's speaking of the food. He knows what he's talking about. You can tell. He's, he's, he's had it. You can tell when somebody talks about food that they know that about. That they know what about the food. Poor little lamb. Uh, I, you know what? I do the same thing at first, but then I, I, can't, I can't say that. You know. I'm a big outback, man. I can't be saying about that. Yeah. <laughs> I had fried olives the other night. Baywatch had fried what olives. I've have never even tonight? heard of fried olives. Don wants to know what we had for dinner tonight. Well, we had frozen White Castles. No, yeah, he's, we, wondering, we, uh, he's wondering what he should have for dinner tonight, guys. Oh. For dinner tonight? I'm trying to tell him, but you, 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 what, you let me know. What he should have for dinner tonight. Oh, what should he have what for dinner? What should he have for dinner oh, tonight? Oh, I'm sorry. And you, you don't let me read it fast enough. Well, you read that. I'm reading this from silence, and then I'll... Go ahead, read it out. Okay. What should you have for dinner tonight? What do you got? What do you, what do you got that I can tell you to make? Uh, do you feel like hamburgers? What do you feel like? Do you Ran feel like... so uh, well. well. Fish? Uh, chicken? No. All the free food, and she's like, no lamb? <laughs> that was a uh, crazy purple lady. I'm wondering what to have, not you, LOL, Don. What to have, man? I don't know. What time is it by you? Is it, I mean, I guess it's dinner time, if that's what you're asking. If it's dinner time, oh, my goodness. Happy Easter, happy Easter. What would I think? Is it Easter by you? I mean, I don't know what I would go for, man. I'd probably make a couple of pork chops up. Pork I'm, chops? Yeah, I'd run up a couple of pork chops. If you take a nice pork chop... I do pork chops and applesauce. PM. It's 3.20 p.m. Uh, where Don and meet you is, uh, Adam. Happy, happy, happy Easter to you, too, love. Uh, if you uh, take a nice pork lady. chop, Don, and you... Oh, he's vegan, but he's actually a question, vegan. I, like uh, I said, if it was me, I would... I would uh, I'm not too good with the I'd do some food. pork chops <laughs> on the bone, fry them up with some applesauce... It's like one. You got us. Oh, it's like one a.m. here. Ah, throw a couple of hot dogs on a grill. So you got one a.m. You throw, throw a no, couple of hot dogs on it. You gotta take the pork there. chop and you gotta put a raw yeah, honey, he, he's raw honey, honey on, on it, and then you cook it with the raw. One a.m. Three twenty a.m. You got some flavor cooking. It's like there. one a.m. here. How about Hawaiian style pork chops? That you could do too. Yeah, Hawaiian style. That sounds. Well, at one a.m., the best you're gonna get at me, I'm gonna throw a couple of dogs. In the water. And you take a little brown sugar and Away you put it in the, the honey and you mix it together and you put that on the pork chop and cook it where the honey gets blackened on the outside. The flavor wow. comes out of that pork chop. Excuse me, Crazy Purple delicious. just had... Crazy Purple Lady... What did you say? Crazy Purple Lady just had chicken bacon cheese sandwich on an everything bun. Oh, that sounds an good. An everything bun to top it off. Nice. Was it slightly toasted, that bun, by any chance? Did you put a little marinara sauce a on slightly, that at all? A slightly toasted bun does it for me. Oh, got to be slight, slightly toasted. The raw honey on the pork chops really tastes good. No, it does. It does. It does. Wow, I, I am, I'm glad I ate already. I'm not hungry at all. <laughs> and nothing you can say can make me hungry tonight. I don't know. I do. Oh, look, pizza. <laughs> yeah, I normally like a fried egg, but had enough, but had enough eggs today at the Easter and Hunt. That was crazy purple lady. Tomahawk. 
tomahawk steak. You know, Don, I, you know, I don't want to get deep into the story. When I did... When I did, when I uh, got my first tomahawk steak, I didn't know that they cut this thing up for you, uh, Don. I don't want some man to cut my steak up well, for me. I was so they beside want to myself. Save. He could only eat oats, and not no granola, when he lived in the woods. Oh uh, wow! Talk about living off the grid. Wow, and a nice spiral ham. You know, Dave, I grew out crock, of the spiral yeah. hams. Yeah, I don't care for the spiral. I don't like dark pork anymore. I like the and white. Coca-Cola, brown sugar. Yeah, wow. Mustard, pineapple. Yeah. That was great. I that, remember those days. That must have pulled apart like crazy. It it's amazing. So it's so sad I lost my mm. taste for the spiral hams. I don't know yeah, what happened. Guys, you can all, you uh, can all it, conversations over here. His oats stuck together with sugar and maple. Maybe some raisins. Yeah, I can't believe it. I'm so upset with that with the ham. I only like the white part of the uh, pork. But I, la last time I was here a couple weeks ago, when you shaved my head, I made the eggs with the ham in it. Oh, and it did, and I, I didn't. I even, fried yeah. up the I ham and then I put it in the story almond. about the Brazilian all you can eat place. The Brazilian all you can eat place. Which one was that? Don Major right said the Brazilian all you can eat place. I can't read it. What is you know which one it was. The one where oh, they wouldn't send you the good meat. They were giving you all the cheap cuts. Oh, there. yeah, man. I don't know how That's I could tell that. Bow drill. Yeah, yeah. Instead of a, a, a good right. shit day from Boston. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I had an argument in a place where all you can eat. They were supposed to give you some. The wow, good that's really living off the grid, dead Bay Watcher. They tried to get you full with you the. Set them up for twenty bucks as soon as you walked in. Yo, man, I go into this all you can eat steakhouse. Good shit. <laughs> bow, bow and drill to start. No, I don't gotta tell my stories. I just gotta read this stuff. Just... <laughs> had we had macaroni salad. <laughs> go ahead, do it for me. No, you go ahead. Macaroni I salad can't... and potato salad, with with our ham Easter lunch. But where are well. We are white. We are white. So, so we bought the salads from a grocery store. Oh, okay. <laughs> purple lady. <laughs> Holy shit! No, but I went to uh, an all-you-can-eat steakhouse and I gave him twenty bucks and I told him today's my birthday. Take care of me. They're trying to give me all bad stuff first, the cheap meat first. I caused the riot in the place. Of course, it was maybe, it was over 30 years ago. I wouldn't do that today. They have the new way to make the deviled eggs with macaroni. Did you always buy this, the slaw? Oh, I got a little secret about the coleslaw. When you when you eat the coleslaw in a diner, I don't do mayo, mustard, or pickles. Okay. Wow. That was crazy, purple lady. We we didn't have slaw. Did we coleslaw? Yeah, East is almost over, Deborah. It comes and goes so fast. <laughs> One of the holiest times right now. It is. One of the holiest times of the year. We yeah yeah we would need it. To be bought. They no, the they're not on a boat. Are oh, we all on a boat? No, we're in the backyard by a fire. Um, we're all by a boat. No, we're by a fire pit. We got probably because they hear the dogs barking. We got a little fire pit going, and that's what's kind of keeping us warm. Otherwise, it's getting. It is actually getting a little chilly out here. It's a table fireplace, you Exciting. know. It's in the center of the of the uh, of the table. You can set the fire in the morning. You can put uh, if you have percolated coffee that you take off the stove. You can leave it on top of that. You know, there's a little plate that you can put on there and drink your coffee and keep it hot. Because I can do a pot in the morning with my you know my eyes closed. Or maybe work in a box. Who knows? Oh, it turned out so much better than I Jesus. Yeah, really? It goes away so fast. What do you hear? What's it? Huh? Yeah, I gotta I gotta look at my settings. These uh comments are disappearing on me too fast and then I can't answer them. Son of a bee. 
Well, I got to look at the settings. Adam, uh, Don was saying, what about lock in a box? The agent cooks it for you, and then they give it to you in a box right there, freshly cooked. Well, that's, I don't know that one. watch. It was saying, use it on uh, third day. Oh, he rides on a day. day, day. Well, thank All you. he returns. Thank you. Uh, thank to you. the thing for coming home party. A city tomorrow. fire. What What does that mean? A city fire. Hey, watcher. Mean? What do you do? What do you hear? What do you say? What do you do? What do you hear? What do you say? What do you do? What do you hear? What do you... A city on fire, baby. A city on fire. Well, that's Manhattan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Manhattan, a place I once called home. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm kind of nervous to go back in there. Although, you know something? I say that. I was there a while, not too long ago. I didn't notice too much of a difference, so I don't know what the hype is. Hey, watch out. So, uh, that's... Oops, I, just hung, I think I just hung up on our phone guy. Hey, watch it. That's pretty funny. That's a classic scene. You're going to hang up on me. Imagine that. You're going to hang up on me. Jesus coming back to the apocalypse. (laughs) That was Baywatcher. (laughs) Baywatcher is nuts, man. (laughs) Wow, wow. (laughs) We got some crazy minds. In the country, I can't read it. In the country, we don't have no fire like what you got. You got me going so, Google eyes oh, like So it's know. like you have a city fire. Whoa. Well, it's pretty close to the phone, so that's why it probably looks a little big. You know, the phone's pretty close to the fire. We got twelve in the chat. made of that anyone artificial idiot. I'm, I'm Don Mink, you're still mad about the hair in his ears. Don't listen to him. About the hair in his ears, he still said something. <laughs> but they need to get rid of the annoying artificial Idiot. You got that hair that goes up the back right into your ears. Why are you picking on Don? What did Don do to you? Look, he's talking about me. You all see his comments? No, Look I didn't his see comments. his comments. I'm, I, I told him I liked him in the beginning. Oh, I like Don. no. <laughs> I'm breaking his balls back. He's breaking my balls. I'm breaking his all right, balls. It's all, it's all family. I used to see him on Talk like, every morning. It looks like it was... Con- he used to come on. He sounded like a... Uh, like a like a little English man, but he he's a big beast. But a nice man. From, uh, Let me step back from the fire a little. Uh, crazy paper lady wants to get a better look at the fire. It's actually it's actually on my t- it's actually on the table. Like you can have breakfast on a table in the morning, and you can put a little plate in the middle of that with the uh, percolated coffee, and it keeps the coffee really nice. What fire has a plate for coffee? Oh, it doesn't have a plate for coffee. I uh, I put it on it on there. I it don't know. Accessories I don't know if there. you're supposed to or not. Nothing ever happened so far. But the coffee is keeps it nice and uh, keeps it nice it's and a hot. Tank tank under the table. Oh yeah, it's a tank. You know, it's a tank with a hose, like a bar- the same way you would set up a barbecue. Only this is set up to be a pit. You know, it's the same hookup as if you would do a a gas barbecue. Same, same, same principle. Uh, crazy paper later. Like, what kind of fire has a table? It's built into the table. It's actually very nice. I don't know how much of it you can see with the flame. It's probably blinding it a lot. You know, this is the actual table. I don't know what you can see or not, though. And there's the table. You know, I got the cigarettes on it and whatnot. I don't know how much of that you can see. And we're just sitting in the backyard, basically. That's all we're doing. I'm done. She's done. Crazy paper lady is done. <laughs> well, it's not a fire pit, but I, there's a fire pit down a little away from the house. Uh, maybe later on this week, I start the fire pit. It's a little bit away from the house, though, and there's animals over there. Uh, we got a family of foxes down there. They're totally harmless. Wow, I never had such a cold head. My head gets cold so fast now. I lean it towards the fire. It makes it nice and blind for you people. It's a party in the house then if you're so cold. Yeah, but I got Cousin Brian shutting all the lights behind me over there. He just shut all the lights off. 
he's concerned he's concerned in uh, energy. He shuts them off by trying to tell him it costs more money to turn the light off, to shut it off and turn it off. Turn it off and shut it off. It costs more money than if you leave a light on all day. Than when you shut it and turn it off. Same thing with a car battery. It uses most of its power when you start that car. You could take that battery right out after you start the car. But you need the battery to start the car. The fire looks all white on my screen. It does? Oh, wow. That's odd, uh, uh, Bay Watcher. You basically have a gas heater for outside that looks like a fire in the middle of your table. Exactly, Purple Lady, yeah. It's just, uh, uh, and it's got a bunch of pebbles. If, yeah, if one's not too hot, see, see these little pebbles? Those are all in it, these little tiny pebbles. I grab one that's not too hot. They, they go in the fire pit there, basically. Any foxtails on your car? Adam, no, no, no foxtails on a car. I don't go after them. I don't I don't look to bother them. They live their life. I live mine. You know, they 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 do what they do. But it is nice in the morning you wake up, you see the you see the deer in the morning a lot of times when you're having a breakfast. You'll always see at least six deer. You don't want to stop barking. Sometimes over a dozen. You're driving you crazy? No, what's going on is that she sees something. The dog sees something that we don't see. Uh, there's something out there, and that's what's keeping whatever's out there away, her barking. So I don't mind her barking. Kind of cool, Adam Baywatcher said. There's no such thing as car aerial. Dude, come visit me, and I'll show you a real fire. No, you know something, uh, crazy purple lady? I may, if I start the pit in the back, that's a pit like uh if you ever watched alv tell his spooky stories out in the backyard it's a real fire it's pit. it's a fire pit you know it's a fire pit yeah. that you can sit about six people around it's very nice or more. you could lose yourself back there it's yeah, something about a absolutely. fire pit how you could uh how you could just lose yourself in a fire pit this is just something sitting on the back of the deck to turn on i would be out with my 302. And oh, don't worry about, well, it's face, you know, it's YouTube, so we don't want to talk about our business with that. But uh, where we are over here, you could actually, when it's when it's hunting season, you can hunt because there's no other houses by you. You know, there's nothing that you're going to hit. There's no people you're going to hit. So you can take your rifle out and you can go hunting for deer. A fancy city fire, LOL. Yeah, you're right. Fancy city. Cheaping it out. I didn't have to start nothing. All I had to do was turn a knob. I got you now, crazy purple lady. All I had to do was turn a knob and press a button, and there was my fire. Yeah, I didn't work for it at all. I don't deserve to be this warm. <laughs> I don't deserve to be this warm. <clears throat> I have a family. You can come get... Now, all you want, purple, crazy purple lady. <laughs> <laughs> My mom has a family of deer, too. Oh, they come up. You see, there's a gate that stops them from coming any more than, I guess, uh, where am I, maybe 30 feet away? So, I, you know, I don't want them coming on to the, you know, you don't want them coming on to everything, you know, but it is nice to see them in the morning. Grab up the squirrels, too. Yo, the squirrels, I had a... My father's mother, she would go after them. They were, they looked, the squirrels, they looked like possums, the possums. She'd eat the possums, this lady. Frozen. Brian's freezing up. Say something. Brian's, he's just cold, you know, that's all. Crazy no, I'm just lady. trying to not talk over Adam. I know, I got to take away the stage over here for my cousin. That's all right. We can't keep a garden. You're doing well. Well, crazy lady can't keep a garden over you there. We tried years. everything. Well, what we got, what we do over here, we put them in uh, in buckets first, like from Home Depot, buckets first, and then if you want to put them under the ground, I, I, they seem to grow better that way. I don't know. You drill the holes in the side of the bucket so the water drains out of them when you water them, and they seem to grow nice. We tried everything. Squirrels are free, and there is in yeah. If, 
squirrels are always running so fast like they're on friggin' speed or something. You ever see them running in the street? They're always like on a, uh, in a hurry to someplace. Where the frig they go on these squirrels? Squirrel meat. You know, they're never just chilling. You ever see a squirrel what just laying what back and just chilling? Squirrel meat what? Uh, squirrel's meat. Squirrel's meat. Millionaire told me that. Oh, I missed one. Squirrels are free. There is infinite amount of them. Yeah, I don't know. I never tried one. That's a that's a that's a rat, bro. Uh, Baywatch. That's basically a rat. Although, who knows what the future holds? Fruit I grows the, great. I thought the rats were the uh, the pigeons that live in uh, Manhattan. The freaking fruit. Oh, freaking crazy lady. They, they grow the, great, but the deers and and the squirrels eat them. Okay, I got you. I have a problem with tomatoes in the backyard a little bit. The pigeons were the rats with wings. Adam, I think black and orange squirrels are beautiful. I get, I got, uh, I never seen orange squirrels in my life, Baywatcher. I gotta say that. The black one. But uh, I seen a few black ones by me. I got a few black ones. But I never seen an orange one. I seen a brown one. Yeah, well, the basic ones that look like a rat, you know, with a fluffy tail. I had a, I had a, a joke, Adam. I know you were joking. I was just going along with it, Baywatcher. <laughs> Maybe you saw a, an orange uh, squirrel. Maybe it was Donald Trump's uh, squirrel. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Loved spending time. Oh, uh, Deborah. Loved spending time with you tonight. It's always fun. Post my... Past my bedtime. See you soon. All right, good night, Deborah. Thank you for coming by. It, 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 it really means a lot. I remember that you do these things. Thank you. Uh, crazy purple lady. Then come, then come catch all these squirrels and take them home with you. Yeah, that was my grandmother. She's gone a long, long time, per crazy purple lady. She would cook these things. German. My mother would stand over in the corner there watching her cook these, and she's getting ready to fruit. She says, we're going to throw away that frying pan now that you put that thing in there. We're never cooking out of that that's frying pan German. again. That's the German. Yeah, that's the, that was the German in her. Red and orange squirrels are in Michigan. Okay, purple lady. I'm over here. Baywatch, I'm serious about the orange, black, and red squirrels looking pretty. Wow, I have never seen those. I will look that up on uh, on Google. I would like to see that, man. I'm German. Oh, Crazy Purple Lady is German also. Yeah, I have a little German. I'm a little bit of everything. That's why I'm going to live forever. They say mutts live for everything. Um, uh, I got Italian in me. I got German. I got uh, Irish. What else we got in us? We're French Canadian. French Canadian also. You have any Sicilian in you? We got Sicilian I in don't. us. I got Sicilian in Abu I have no same, Italian in me. Same here. Good night, everyone. From from uh, Mike F. Good night, Mike. Thank you for doctor's, stopping in. I got a doctor's appointment at 9 o'clock in the morning. Good luck, Mike F. I hope it's just a follow-up and nothing serious. Mike F. Have a good speed. night. Take care, buddy. It's good seeing you. Well, a Native American. Good luck at the ne doctors. Oh, uh, Mike F., nephew. Have a great night, sir. That's to you, my nephew. Are you going to kiss to the phone guy? That's to the phone guy. He's calling the me my nephew, nephew Mike Huff. He knows. The phone guy. Mike Huff knows the deal. Yeah, I did get a few minutes, you know, finish up the cigarette. I yeah, shut down the watch. fire. Yeah, what's good? They did that in Manhattan in uh, Central Park. Oh, maybe it's probably probably all the time over there in the Central house. Park in Manhattan. Oh, I just cut you off. Say that again. I'm sorry. I cut you off. I spoke over you. He's famous for that, but that's okay. What, talking over people? Yeah. That's only you. Adam uh, rolls his own cigarettes there. Oh, Baywatch, Adam, sometimes in the city, we see we see lone coyotes. In the city? Goggling down the street casually. Jogging down Jogging the street. Jogging down the street. Adam, what cigs you smoking? You know something? I keep on saying it, Baywatcher. I actually make my own cigarettes. These are just as good as Marlboro, and they've cost me about 40 cents a pack. And 
I swear to God, right out here tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to roll. I'm going to make a few. They're real, real easy. They take maybe 10 minutes for a pack of cigarettes to make. They watch it. And uh, it costs about $20 for a pound of tobacco that lasts me two months and makes me about eight cartons of cigarettes for $20. Yeah, I know that they watch it. And uh, in different cultures, uh, different animals mean something. And like a cow in India, they 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 worship the cows. Over here, we eat them. Yeah, well, what do we worship? But, uh, we don't it's, worship anything. Uh, same thing for every other country. They got there what they worship. You know. Well, the same way we think the Chinese is, you know, is crazy for eating dog. You know, some people... The Indians look, worship the moon, too, no? The they they worship the a lot of things, the Indians. The spirits, the gods, the fire, the flames, the dancing, How about the they rituals. Eat the Chinese, they eat bat. Yeah, well, some countries look at us and think we're cruel for eating cow and pig. You know, they can't understand that. We have the groundhogs. Yeah, the oh, groundhog. no, no groundhogs over Joe here. The Blasio dropped it on its head and killed it. I know, the Blasio dropped the last one on its head and killed it. Yeah. The last um, was it the last one or the one before that? That bomb. Yeah, the 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 Blasio dropped the groundhog on its head and killed it by mistake. Oh, I think this got me nice and tired now. I'm ready yeah, to go right. to sleep. Yeah, uh, what time is it, Brian? I don't know. Let me see what time it is. Yeah, I don't think I'm cutting it short. I am getting uh. Well, it's high over here. I can't believe it. What time is it? It is one thirteen. It is one thirteen. And uh, yeah, about two hours ago, I was getting very sleepy, and I said to my cousin Brian, uh, "If we turn on a movie, we're not going to talk to each other. You know, if we talk, let's just turn on YouTube. You know, I mean, this memory will be here forever until YouTube is gone." Baywatch is saying something. Sarah McCullough did fest a, a Cali festival. Marilyn Manson said it's more sat satanic. Yeah, than yeah, Baywatch. He says that now, but think about the videos he did. Not, I, I, I mean, I liked his music and stuff, and I have nothing uh, against him, his videos. But I'm just saying, nah, he's just talking because he's old now. He's older. You know, yeah, he's yeah, he's yeah. calmed down now. I his his day is past. So he's just talking shit, bro. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, he got something. Yo, these dogs got something over there. Something's going on down there. They're trying to capture something. One, one of them are panting away. One of the dogs. They're panicking over there. Let them loose. Let them loose. Let the dogs loose on them. I think it's time to say goodnight. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, we're here an hour and 45 minutes. We, um, a lot of people are going to sleep. We got three left hanging in the house. So, uh, thank you, everybody. Yeah, Baywatch, uh, thanks for coming by, Mike F. Crazy Purple Lady. Don, thank you. If you're still listening, shave that back. Don, thank you for being Green so funny tonight. Ears. Deborah already went to sleep. And who else is over here that we can get before we go to say goodnight? I just want to make sure I catch everybody. I mean, kind enough for coming by. I'm not into Rob Zombie. His movies are better and this shit, too. Yeah, I'm just going to say goodnight to everybody. I want to thank you for coming in. What a good show. And thank you for the memories. And uh, It was a great show. Yeah. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you. Don, Don is still here. Oh, we thought Don went to bed. Don's waxing his back right now. We'll take one more. I'm going to shut this bad boy off. And we're going to call it a night. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Take it easy, man. Baywatcher, take it easy. Thanks for hanging in there to the end. I appreciate you, man. I'll talk to you. Good night, everyone. Good night. I hope you had a great day, and I hope you have a, I hope you have a better tomorrow. Peace. God bless you all. Bye-bye.
I'm sorry. 